Hi, and welcome to Gems and Jewels. This project um, I did once before, it was slightly different. I used Christmas ornaments on this one and wanted to show you what I did. And I made it slightly different. Um, I'm not quite sure if I like it, but anyways, this is what I have. Stay tuned and I'll show you how I completed it. So the supplies you used in this project are in the description box. These are paper mache letters, the small ones. I got them at Hobby Lobby. So for all of the letters, I used the silver diamond confettis and I just took hot glue and I glued them each individually. So for the base of the project, I used this piece of wood that I purchased at Menards. So I have a lot of um, white and silver in my house, so I wanted to try something different other than mirror or white. So I found this pinstriped um, silver and black scrapbook paper, and I just cut those in strips and I hot glued those to the wood. So I decided to use Christmas ornaments in this project. Um, this is an actual Christmas ornament. It's a bag, obviously. Um, wasn't going to work, so I had to change it. So the very first thing that I did to alter the bag was I spray painted it metallic silver. And then I bought these diamonds, these little gemstones you can get at Walmart. Um, I used four of the large diamonds on each side of the bag. See that? I'm going to stick rhinestones above that. but. Right at this placement, I did four of the diamonds on each side for a total of eight. And all I did was I hot glued them. Sorry for the glare, this isn't the best footage. So for this part, I used three rhinestones, and basically all I did is I followed the indentations of the bag. Oh, it's kind of a glare. Oh, not good. Anyway, there's one in the middle there, and then two on the top where the odd shapes are, and I just hot glued that. So then after I had the rhinestones placed on there, I took a row of diamond wrap, cut it to fit the size of the bag, and then I just hot glued it in the middle on the top there, just to add a little more detail. So I followed the shape of the bag and I incorporated mirror mosaic stickers, two on the sides, see that on the top, and then I put three on each side of the bag through its entirety from top to bottom. So to complete the Chanel logo, I took a keychain holder, or a couple of them because I made a few of them, and a wire cutter. And you just cut that in half. So now you have two. And then you're going to take the one and you're going to cut it again until you have half a circle.
tad bit more. That wasn't enough. And then you're going to match it up with the other one. And then you're going to cut the one that you haven't cut. And then you have two C's. Now you have to be real careful with this because it will fall apart on you. Sorry, there's a little glitter on the floor. So you're going to go ahead and make your logo. zoomed in a little too much slightly crooked let me fix it and you're gonna find the spots and then you're gonna take hot glue or whatever adhesive you like You want to let it sit for a little bit, but it'll be very fragile, so be very careful with it. So for timing purposes, I didn't tape myself gluing the letters on or the shoes, which were Christmas ornaments. I also took picture wire and I took pearls that I purchased at the Dollar Tree and all I did was string the pearls on the wire, placed the pearls how I wanted them on my centerpiece and then I took some hot glue and adhered my Chanel logos. So once I was done with it, I placed it where I wanted to be, and then I added a couple little fairy lights, well, a string of little fairy lights, and I turned it on just so you could see what that looked like. But again, these are Christmas ornaments that I purchased at a Hobby Lobby. And this is what my finished project looked like. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you're subscribed to my channel, I thank you for your loyalty. I will have another project for you shortly. If you're new, I ask that you please subscribe and give me the opportunity to show you my work. Thank you so much. You guys have a fabulous week. Here's a close-up. Again, the shoe is an ornament. Well, the plural shoes are ornaments, Christmas ornaments. Please feel free to contact me, gemsjewelsdiy at gmail.com. Thank you.